You've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. que no lo vimos. Vámonos ya. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right. Let's get started. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI. They're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection. Sneak into the lab and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say Black crocodiles live in those sewers, so, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> Black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Right. Unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. back in Abkhazia. Thanks to the full efforts of the workers, power was restored in just two days. Pretty impressive. Only the power plant is back online, though. Refinery itself will likely be out of service for months. Fuel sent from Supsa is being used to power the plant for now. Ah, just wish I could have stopped him. Impossible without a sniper. And in our focus on anti-cyborg combat, we were... unprepared. Thankfully, other than financial losses, few Abkhaz citizens were seriously affected. The plant workers had already been evacuated, and most were hired back on to rebuild the refinery. We received payment, and are not being blamed for the suicide blast. Good to hear. It should go a long way to help fix our reputation. Duh. And even more good news. Desperado is down one of its top captains. 
Let's hope they learned a lesson. We can hope, but it is doubtful. We still do not know who is supporting them. Even if we shut Desperado down entirely, their backers could simply hire some other PMC. Whoever it is, you really think they're interested in the pipeline? Who'd benefit besides the Georgians? Hmm, hard to say. Whatever the plan was, it went up in flames with Dolcayev's suicide. The problem is that there are countless companies and governments profiting off the BTC pipeline. Whoever is behind it, they may be too big for a simple security firm like us to do anything. Yeah, one thing we do know, though, is that Sundowner is more than just a pawn in all of this. We need to watch him. Trafficking or not, we need to stop their operation here. Find the evidence, and perhaps we can do that. And Tovarich, be careful. Biden, I know.
there's a boy down here? Are you sure? An AI never lies. What? Well, that's a lie right there. You think the Patriot AI sold nothing but the truth? I have yet to see evidence to the contrary. But, indeed, perhaps, never lies would be an overstatement. Way to backpedal. I didn't think AIs ever got flip-floppy like that. An optical neural AI is fundamentally similar to an actual human brain. Whether they lie or not is another question, but certainly they are capable of incorrect statements. Ugh. Anyway, let's get back to the kid. Where is he? Unknown. He ran when he saw me. I intended no harm, but he must have assumed the worst. I opted not to pursue, as that might only confirm his suspicions. What'd he look like? An Indian child. Estimated age, 11 years. He appeared to be wearing medical scrubs. Human trafficking. The boy fled in your direction. It would be wise to search for him. One can logically assume he would have information pertinent to our mission. Yeah, no shit. G is called the Raptor. I hear they are typically deployed in groups. Concentrate too much on one, and you leave yourself open to attack from the others. You need to keep situational awareness at all times against them, Raiden. Raiden, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from seized nanopaste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except for reasons afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. 
These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. 
And just like all damn America president! Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them skunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, me been live on the street, raking scraper above, nah? Then this good need dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scone don't put me on a ras boat! They pack us all a pickable doji container, next thing we know, we're here, at that zombie lab. All kids? Like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them scunt wanna do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. You shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man, same as you! Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just plain, nah? Me done plenty bad thing. But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain gonna get cut out? Run your ass out of there! But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find a server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? It's... It's a box. How's that going to help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually.
Impressive. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice.
Keep on coming. ask you something. What do you think you're doing here? I mean, why are you working with me? Because I choose to. I owe a debt, and I wish to repay it. A debt, huh? How human of you. I contest that statement. 
Many humans possess little or no sense of obligation at all. And many are entirely willing to trample their fellow man for personal gain. I know. But is that it? I mean, you're willing to follow me, put yourself at risk just because of that? What do you think of what I'm doing here, for example? A delicate question. I do find it difficult to rationalize your mission to rescue the children. If you wish to save children in need, there are hundreds of millions of others equally in need. <laughs> Thanks for the support. However, we must still uncover the full extent of Desperado's activities. And as such, it is meaningless to debate best practices without sufficient information. <laughs> All right then. No more questions, Your Honor. Boris, we've got kids being held inside this lab. I'm getting them out of there. Copy that. I will discuss with NGO what to do with them afterward. What are you thinking? Eh, uh, well, this is difficult. I imagine these are homeless children, taken from streets. Likely they have no home to return to, but we cannot dump them back on streets. We could look for adoptions in the US, but some of these kids may be criminals. Could be drug addicts, HIV positive, not so easy to find homes. Yeah, wasn't easy for me either. The guys at the relief center were always worried I'd cause problems for my foster family. The alternative is putting them in an institution until they grow up, but this has issues as well. Most are already past capacity. Taking on this many street kids at one time would be impossible. Also, it's a matter of fairness. Is it fair to take in these kids here when millions more are dying? I imagine this is why rescue was not part of our contracted mission. The human rights NGOs, they know they can't rescue them all. They must take a wide view and confront the problem of traffickers, not their victims. Well, we can't just sit here and let them pull kids to pieces. Duh. On this, we agree. For now, rescue the children. We'll worry about the fallout later. Copy that.
discovered the entrance to the lab. Sending coordinates to your Soliton radar. This would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first you need to take a dump. I... wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. These rifles Desperado's using. Mac 200s, right? Same as Maverick's standard issue. Nice weapon. Not that any gun is much use against a cyborg. Duh. The 200 is a thing of beauty. We were one of the first to adopt them three years ago. It has minimal muzzle flash and report when firing, and little recoil. Plus, the ejection port near the muzzle makes it good in both left and right hand. Rare for bullpup rifle. Easy maintenance, tough enough to take some dirt without jamming every shot, and it takes standard NATO magazine, so you can find ammo on almost any mission anywhere in the world. Sounds like somebody's in love. Well, it reminds me of the good old days. Most Soviet gear was trash, yes. But the rifles, ah, the rifles, the best in the world. And it seems I'm not the only one to appreciate them. Apparently not. I see Max everywhere these days. They've spread all over the world, and so quickly. Still, I am sad to see Desperado using them against us. Well, not much we can do about it now. Such an elegant weapon, waved around Stado Priturkov. Stop it, stole it. 
<laughs> okay, Boris, okay. Just calm down. If they continue to increase security, they may shut out all outside network connections. Please do your best to avoid being seen. Oh! <laughs> 
Is it over? For now, yeah. But that room... Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Best you stay out of there. We don't want to risk harming any of the brains. input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto cyborgs' heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious.
That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Raiden, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs. Guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. And send us what you do have. You've already commenced the art plan. The Sears program? Yep. Sending one old Georgie boy used on the kids in Liberia. Of course, it's right straight to the brain now. Feels as real as anything else. Your work is astonishing. And your work is light. We need to ship before our cover is blown. We've got some assholes snooping around. We just do not have the full quantity yet. Each brain has its own unique requirements. It's not like we can just pop them out with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> All right. Make your point. Oh, <laughs> thank you for understanding. Say what you have now. I will destroy any unharvested inventory. Okay? But have you any idea what they cost? Last I checked, children weren't exactly rare in this part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. Yes, you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Tecumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. Definitely seemed familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. <laughs>
More classified Patriot information was in that man's holographic memory. George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. Walking the way, push that thing back. Ah, the Grad, yes, a Ukrainian new jeep. Of all the places to run into one, eh? Well, first thing is first, drive it back and out of your way.
has switched to biped mode. Careful, it is all new battle now. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. Ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs. You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus, fr Kevin out. Thank you. 
Any sign of George? Not yet, no. Our men have split up to canvas the area. You just worry about the kids in the lab for now. Understood. blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. Anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender! Or decide the needs of the many or the needs of the few. Raiden, don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Huh? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ching. What if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Quiet!